not because the rope is too short. It's because your form and technique is drifting into the bad habits of having that longer rope. One of the biggest problems I see from beginner to intermediate jumpers is jump rope sizing. This has become a huge problem really due to social media. Social media is amazing, don't get me wrong. I love that you can learn all sorts of different things, but it's a double-edged sword. It can also teach you a lot of things improperly. And that is what has happened with jump rope sizing. There's this universal jump rope sizing method of stepping on the rope and bringing it up to your armpits and saying, that's where you should start. How about new? The 100% guarantee of this method is that it's going to leave you with a jump rope that is too long every single time. Now you might be thinking, Kyle, I use that method and it works just fine for me. Well, with all due respect, you haven't jumped and learned to jump well with a shorter rope. A shorter rope, when you get it into the sweet spot, is going to help improve your form and technique and you are going to be able to progress much faster and to far better levels than you can with a long oversized jump rope. But don't just take my word for it. I'm gonna also show you the sizing method from a 31 time grand world jump rope champion, Tori Boggs. And if you don't know who Tori Boggs is, you're gonna need to go check her out on Instagram. She's an absolute amazing jumper. She brings a ton of style and she is one of the happiest jumpers I've ever seen in my entire life. Now that we know why the universal method is no good, let's take a look at the 31 time world champion Tori Boggs and how she recommends sizing your rope. So now you know where the jump rope size sweet spot is that you should be aiming for, but you might be thinking, Kyle, there's no way I've tried shorter ropes and I just trip up, it's too short for me. That size is just not going to work. Well, the biggest misconception that people have when they're shortening their rope and then they think that it's too short, it's not really because it's too short. So let me show this to you really fast, an example. So here I have a jump rope. I haven't sized this at all, it's brand new but it comes all the way up to my chest. This is way too long for me. In order for me to be able to jump with this rope, if I use my good form, it hits the ground and bounces up into my feet every single time. So I have to get my hands way up in order for it to just skim the ground. Well, this is horrible form. We don't want that. But if that's what you're used to, might not be that drastic, but your form, as I stated earlier in the video, sizing is going to have a direct correlation or relationship to your form. And so if your jump rope size is off, then your form is off. So what people do is then you shorten your rope. Say I cut this down to now it's this rope that when I stand on it with both feet comes up just underneath the bottom of my rib cage. Well, and notice I'm pulling the rope tight here. So now when I drop my hands down a little bit or off of my hips where my jump rope form is, there's a slight, a little bit of slack, which is what you want, because as you're jumping, it's going to tighten the rope and you're gonna get that arc. So you want a little bit extra there when you're holding the, your handles in jump rope form, in good form. But what happens when you go from a long rope, you've been using this long rope, and now you go back to, you, you cut it down, but now you try to use that same form that you had for the longer rope. Well, that's gonna catch on my feet every time. It is too short for that form. So now you have to get your focus onto your form and technique, getting those hands down lower. And then you're gonna get the rope to just skim the ground and you're gonna realize that it's not that bad. Now what people do when they shorten their rope is you have the habits of having a longer rope and your form matching that rope. So you're naturally going to drift back in towards that form. That's when you're gonna trip up. Just know that you just gotta wrap your, get your mindset changed that it's not because the rope is too short, it's because your form and technique is drifting into the bad habits of having that longer rope. So now your focus 
is completely on your hands, staying down at hip level and rotating the rope just with your wrists. And then you're going to end up in much better shape. And then it's just generating some time with the new size, uh, ingraining that new mind, mind muscle connection, grooving that new form and re repeating it over and over and over again till it becomes your new normal. So let's talk how to size your rope. If you are currently using a long rope, I recommend shortening your rope in stages. Start by shortening to a length that when the standing on the rope with both feet, the handles come up to just below your chest. Give some test jumps and find where the rope just skims the ground. If your hands are too high, then you will want to shorten your rope a bit more. You will repeat this process until you are in good form and comfortable with the length. Remember that you don't have to cut your jump rope all the time. If you have a PVC rope, you can tie a knot in one or both sides to test out shorter lengths as well. Sizing isn't necessarily all in one day. When I first went through the process, I did it over a four to five day period. If you need to gradually get used to a little shorter rope, spend a session or two or even longer becoming more consistent with that size before continuing to shorten your rope. You may even decide to shorten it more after a month or two of using it. There's no rules here. If you want to learn more skills, tips, check out the other videos on my channel and I will see you in the next video.